and then here's some really good information on tracking so I'll include I'll include all these too in the links in the description the links to these in the description but this um this is really good here if you want to read this it gives you a lot of information to learn about tracking it tells you a lot about animals about their trails how they run the escape routes that they use the bedding down dens stuff like that It, it teaches you a lot about tracking. So this is talking about skulls right here. This is talking about skulls. It talks a lot about tracks, measuring a track. And here again we have the length of the track, the width of the track, the stride, the straddle, the pitch. So this also has a, um, I like this part right here, classification of the tracks, a clear print. Is we can you can see it real clearly like in the mud and then you have the pattern classification which is when it's not really clear when it's like hard hard ground leafy ground stuff like that where you can't make out the toes really good or but you can see the good shape of it and the size that's considered a, a um, pattern classification versus a clear print. Clear prints are really hard to find. As you can see here, 5% of prints are gonna be clear. 95% are gonna be a, a pattern that you can find. All right, these are some of my footprints that I have found that are pretty clear. And you can see the uh, toes. It's about the same size. That one looks like at least 14 inches. Desi and Troy both found these uh, footprints here. This was in a 19 foot trackway where they found, and some of them are the 5% clear and some of them are 95% pattern. But this was a trackway they found in Green Swamp in an area that and we researched. Six inch footprints. So you can see the right foot and the left foot and the right foot. So you can see how far over the the left foot swings over where it's not even in line. So you can see with my line I drew on the edge of the right foot. So with the person, this foot would be over here. So with the big foot, normally you would have somewhere around here. But I think because of the way they swing their feet over, he actually, he came over further than being in line. They can be pretty hard to see sometimes. There's an area, quite a few animal tracks. This looks like raccoon, probably right here. It's 
You can see the horse, where the horse stuck. And then there's some smaller, smaller animals here too. Yeah, that's a raccoon there. Yeah, this is more sugary sand, they're kind of hard to see sometimes. Yeah, the sand gets yeah, disturbed a lot more. So this has some good information, like for the deer, looking at the tracks of a deer and being able to tell which one's a, a buck or which one's a doe. You can tell by the rear feet. The rear feet is gonna be on the inside from the um, from the front feet for a male deer, for a buck, because of the different build of the body. And then the doe is gonna be on the outside of the front feet because of the, um, with them giving birth. And like right here, aging of the tracks, because we've been out with um, quite a few people working with different teams and I'll find footprints sometimes that are two, three, four days old. Sometimes you can find them that have been reined in and you can definitely tell a difference. You can tell that they're not our footprints, our boot prints. And you can tell that they're older. And like right here, it's talking about using a tracking stick to be able to, to use for a measuring device from one footprint to the next for looking for prints. And that works um, pretty good as far as like for finding Bigfoot footprints, Sasquatch footprints. Because most of the time we find them between like 42 inch, 48 inch sometimes um, up to like 52 and 54 inches so you pretty much want to look around 48 inches from one foot to the other so when you find one footprint if you look 48 inches you're liable to find the next one or um, or signs of the next one it may not always be a perfect print you may find signs of it where you can see it, some of it in the leaves or the dirt and then find the next one by looking at for another 48 inches forward. And you can also backtrack and look for them. Look backwards behind the track. Look for another one. Go back and look for another one, another 48 inches. And then like some of the tracking, like the book and the paper that I showed you. Um, this will show you some of the, like the two toes like the hooved animals or two toes, four toes, like the bobcat, the panther, and five toes, like the, the black bear, the raccoon, some of them. And then there's others here. So this is a good learning device, a good way of learning. So again, I'll put the link to this in the description.